ready? Let's yeah. see, chickens and mealworms. Chickens. It's the mealworms. Is it good mealworms? Is it chickens? Chickens like the mealworms, huh? Uh, I don't hold it. I don't <sighs> Morning, everyone. Welcome to Rivera Urban Homestead. Um, it is Sunday, December 11th. And today my video is going to be kind of on um, the evolution of my garden. New methods I'm going to start implementing in my garden that I think will be beneficial. Um, as you all know, I'm here on at Zone 9, in Zone 9, South Florida. And one thing I have not really done faithfully in my garden is put like a mulch on it. Uh, whether it be wood chips, straw, hay, something. Just to keep the moisture in. So, I have my neighbor next door, he's a tree guy, and I asked him if he could drop me off another thing in the wood chips. Remember, we did wood chips, remember, a couple videos back, and I just filled in my backyard with them. So, I'm going to get this next pile of wood chips, and I'm actually going to use it for in the garden. Compost it right on top of the beds. So, what I'll do is I'll just have a nice thick layer of the wood chips in each bed, completely covering the soil and you know what that'll do is it'll help uh, keep the moisture retention of the soil in the summertime it'll help the roots of those plants stay a little bit cooler than how it is if it was if the soil was exposed to the sun and also as it breaks down it just becomes a microbial uh, explosion of different you know that feeds the microbes so um, I think wood chips is going to be a big thing I'm implementing. I'm not saying I'm doing the back to Eden or any any kind of method that you see out there that you can buy books on and stuff. I'm just trying to incorporate different things to help my particular garden grow better. And I feel wood chips here in Zone 9 will definitely do the trick. It'll help at least while it feeds the soil as well because as that breaks down it just becomes perfect compost. Um, another thing I'm going to start doing, and we're going to go out there today and we're going to actually begin the process, is out in my chicken run, the enclosed fenced cage that they stay most of the time when I'm at work and stuff, we are going to turn that into a living compost. So what we're going to do is we're going to layer it really thick with leaves, straw, and I'm just going to continually keep hopefully about this thick, maybe 10 to 12 inches of substance in there at all times in the run. And what will happen is that's pretty much the carbon, the straw, the leaves, wood shavings. That will be the carbon component. When I throw in kitchen scraps like the salads and or maybe grass clippings when it's summertime, all the greens plus their, their manure, that will be the nitrogen fixer. So. With all of that combined, I think we're going to start making really good compost right inside the chicken run to where I don't have to have a side compost at all. I will just compost directly in there, and that's where I'll take my compost from. We'll go out there here in a little bit and explore that more. So that's another thing um, I'm kind of changing up my methods on is composting in the chicken run and um, also starting to implement wood chips a lot more in in the area yeah so what I've noticed guys I started gardening what three years ago one box not really knowing what I'm doing I just loaded up the truck with compost from the dump filled it up planted stuff very mediocre throughout the years the last couple of seasons you know I've been adding more boxes really learning about the soil because that's where it's at you're not growing plants you're growing the soil once that soil is grown the plants take care of themselves 
So that's why you, it's always important to add your compost in, um, your worm castings, your rock dust, as a mite rock dust I add in, the trace minerals. Um, so with us doing the compost out in that chicken run, with that chicken manure and all the other stuff breaking down, I think it's going to be really the key to getting the garden really producing to its full potential. Because I'm still not there yet. I'm still learning. But so anyway, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to obviously can't do nothing with the wood chips yet. i got to wait for my, my guy next door to uh, bring me the load of wood chips. Once He said once he gets a good load in, he'll... He'll bring me some, so we'll get those wood chips going, and then, but today we're going to get the chicken run going with whatever resources I have around. I got a bunch of leaves that I can rake up, throw them in there. I still got some straw in the Rubbermaid out there, so we'll just put in what we can, and um, we'll keep adding to it, and we'll just watch the progress as it goes, um, but I think that's going to be very beneficial, so let's go to the run now, and let's at least do that. I'm gonna go rake leaves, so I'll meet you over there once I get a wheelbarrow full of leaves. King of the jungle. Alright, so I got a quick wheelbarrow full of leaves. I'll probably get another one. So let's go in here and see how we're going to prep. This is where I'm composting, in that run. So let's go in here and see how we're going to prep it. Okay, so the first thing we need to do in here is declutter. I'm going to take this out, being we're not going to use this feed source because of the mice and stuff. I don't want them having access to open feed, so all this will be taken out. And we're going to try and hang our food and waterers, that way they're off the ground, so we could just totally fill this in. Okay, so what I did is basically just got as much stuff out of the run off the ground as possible. Put the food and waterers up there, elevated high. The other water elevated. So now I'll just fill this in with leaves and straw. And as they work it, break it down, poop on it, it'll just compost naturally. Another thing I just did inside the coop is made them a better roost area. It has chicken wire on it so their poop will go right through to the ground. And what I'll start doing is taking this stuff out of here after maybe six months at a time and I'll throw it out here with the other deep litter. Then refill this up with the wood shavings. I kind of like the wood shavings in here. Okay, so here's two wheelbarrows full of leaves in here now. Actually, what I'm going to do I'm going to take all this bedding out that's been in here for, well, about five months since they've been out here. All a bunch of poop, as you can see. We're going to take all this out, throw it in here as well, put new straw in here, and even put more straw out here as well. So let's get that layered in. Alright, so here's a good start. Two wheelbarrows full of leaves, a bunch of new straw, a bunch of bedding from in the coop. So now we're... Daddy, what do I want? No? What's up? This one? Oh, no, I don't need any more rocks. Thank you. You're welcome. Always helping. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, we got about, I don't know, four inches right now, five inches. So we'll just let that get all tore up, broken. It'll give them something to do. It'll bring in some little bugs probably, you know, that'll live in there. They could eat. And like I said, I'll just add in my table scraps, my 
greens, my grass clippings, just everything in here. And, you know, a good reason for doing this, well, there's a lot of good reasons, but a couple of them is, obviously, you get compost right from the run. You don't have to have a dedicated area. You just do it right in here where they're living. They'll mix in their high nitrogen manure. It'll break down, and then you just kind of dig the top layer off, scoop out the good stuff once you start getting those layers going. It'll take some time. And um, another good thing about doing it this way is the smell reduction. If you just have a bunch of nitrogen, you're going to be smelling it. If it's just all chicken poop on dirt, you're going to smell it. Um, the urine, the poop. So a good thing about doing this, with all the carbon in here, it'll neutralize that. And there won't be any smell. It'll smell just like compost when you're doing it correctly. Like dirt, like soil. So... Anyway, it looks nice. They'll have a lot to dig around. And also I put brand new straw in here. So this is all nice and new. Got their new roost. So that's the first phase of the uh, chicken compost. Composting it right in the run. So we'll keep up to date on it, keep it monitored and see how it goes. I should probably kind of wet it down some, so I might go get a, a waterer and come in here and just kind of wet it down a little. Oh yeah, they're like, hey, hey. They like it. This is what they do naturally. They're natural scratchers, so give them something to scratch, keep them occupied. Now just dig around, man. Mix it all together, eat stuff, and it smells wonderful in here right now. Nice fresh hay. <laughs> so I just got done juicing, so I'm going to give them the pulp that comes out of my machine after. All it is is carrots and kale and apple, cucumber. They'll like it. I just put some other kale leaves in here. They have not left in here since I put all this bedding in. There you go. They'll dig all that in. It'll start composting. guys so there you go um, it was a pretty productive day I like that I got that set up like that I think they're gonna enjoy the run a little bit better with it like that um, before we were starting to get some bear patches kinda boring in there now they haven't left the run they've been out there they've been digging around I just got done juicing like you saw so I put that out there put some extra kale out there um, and that's all just gonna start composting in there it's going to keep it smelling good, and it'll get that nice chicken manure put right into the compost. So I'm pretty excited about this method. I just hope it works. I mean, I don't see why it shouldn't. Use your nose as your indicator. Um, if it starts stinking in there, it's because you have too much nitrogen. You got too much manure, greens, not enough carbon. Add some straw, add some wood shavings, add some leaves, add your browns. That'll neutralize it. So basically, as long as it ain't smelling, and it seems to be being turned by the chickens, it's, everything's going good. And again, we're going to have some really good compost from that. Once it hits that garden, maybe next year, next season, it's going to really just blow up our production. We're going to have some good stuff in there. Um, we do have a lot of stuff going on in the garden right now, uh, as far as growing, growth. Maybe next weekend we'll do a... December update in the garden because there's a lot of good stuff going on in there. But all right, guys, so there you have it. There is the chicken run composting project. I guess we call it a project. It is in place, it's going. We started it. I'm very excited about that. Um, and then when I get them wood chips going, I'll show you what I'm going to do with them. I'm going to load it up all around the banana plants in the wooden barriers I laid out. The wood chips are going to go all in the raised beds. On top of the soil, you do not mix in the wood chips. You leave it on top. If you start mixing it in, it starts taking nitrogen. 
We'll talk about that on the video when we get the wood chips. For now, chicken run composting project in place. Talk to you guys later. You guys have a good week. I'm going to get ready to go watch some football, man. Hang out. So, thanks for watching. Talk to you later.